kids. I know you know your parents get out of you know it's not easy. Running around doing errands all week long. Let's see here. This month is also known as Dental Hygiene Month. Make sure your kids know what's going on with their teeth. After all, the last thing they want is a bad cavity. Gingivitis, which is well known in some states, especially around here. That's real. Say cheese, child smile, key to health. That's going to the paper there. You're on base. Avoid using sweet foods or sweetened drinks to reward your child. This includes beverages that are aesthetic, like soda, orange juice. Those are examples, especially after bedtime. You know, you want to have that glass of milk right away. It helps with calcium and take a lining defensive measure of fluoride. A lot of good folks don't know that, especially when you're drinking something aesthetic. Orange juice, apple that wears down teeth, defensive immunity to fight off cavities that before a brush. Drinks to reward your child, this includes beverages that are aesthetic such as sodas again, lemonade, sports drinks. Make your child's first dentist appointment as early as the first birthday. This appointment will get your child used to dentist chair and will educate you on good dental health technique. Learn proper brushing and flossing techniques. Ask your dentist about dental sealants. They are protective coatings and help prevent bacteria from causing tooth decay on chewing surfaces of teeth. Protect your child's smile. They ensure mouth guards are used. When playing sports, this will protect your teeth from getting broken and protect the face from injury. Teach children to say no to tobacco. Tobacco can cause tooth decay, gum disease, tooth loss, and oral cancer. Let's see here. Uh, well, a lot of brand new parents don't know. To prevent cavities in babies by wiping their gums with a clean, wet gauze pad or soft washcloth at your month, each feeding or breast or bottle pad. That's that kind of thing. A lot of parents didn't know that. You're welcome. See here, avoid using sweet foods. Let's see here. Ask a health care provider to give health advice to the parents. Work with local schools and civic groups to provide presents about presentations about oral health. Ask dentists if you want to display them in your local community health exhibit. Help quote using posters and hands on demonstrations at a library, bank, or shopping center. Finally, using the key for lifetime good oral health to get their super smile for you and your family. Eat a healthy diet. Limit snacking between meals. No junk food. Especially after bedtime. Just got done brushing your teeth. No kids are. They want that last snack. Especially if they see you eating it. That's a dead giveaway. And they're watching you. Oh, mom's doing it. I'm, I want one. How come I can't have one? It's not fair. One well, using these keys for lifetime good health is to give that, that supper smile for you and your family. A healthy diet, limit snacking between meals, brush gently twice daily for two minutes, floss each day, give regular dental checkups, avoid tobacco use. Let's see, that'd be a perfect example of a kid getting his teeth flossed. Okay, um, what's today's bedtime story? Walt well, Disney. See, get one of these, one of these little titles. You can go to the nearest library here on base in your town. It's not far away. I'm sure there's a library here, especially here. There's a lot of libraries here in the U.S. I support the Library of Congress. That's a library. That's a super small. There's a bookstore. Look it up online. Check out bookstore locally. There's no bookstore and you're living 50 miles from anything, you might want to go online and get something for your kid at BarnesandNoble.com. One time by Disney Pixar Finding Nemo, the surprise party based on Finding Nemo the movie. One day Nemo, a little clown fish, was telling his dad, Marlon, about something their good friend Dory had done. You know, said Marlon, Dory's birthday is coming up. I just love this. 
She mentioned it a while ago, but I'm sure she's probably forgotten all about it. Nemo decided he wanted to do something special for Dora. After all, she was my family. I know he thought I'll throw her a surprise birthday party at recess. The next day, Nemo asked her friends for all the octopus tasks. The butterfly fish and shell in the sea holes to help the clan Dory's party. Count me in, said Pearl. Me too, Sheldon agreed. I love parties, Tad exclaimed. Then let then let's meet here, meet right after school and start playing, Nemo suggested. That afternoon that friend met near the sponge bed soon they were having a contest to see who could bounce the highest after they declared Pearl the winner. They got down to work. What kind of food should we have at Dory's party? asked me. Kelp cake and algae ice cream, Sheldon replied. What about a sea plant pizza? asked Tad. And salty seawater punch. I'm getting hungry already, said Nemo. Now, what we should we do about music? I wish we knew a band. We could be the band to pro. I'm a great owner. Sand dollar, tambourine. Yeah, I play the clam shell drum, said Sheldon. Great, cried Nemo. And Tad can strum some yeah, for a while and play the con chef. Let's meet here tomorrow after school to practice. And the whole group is right there. They're getting squared away. And there's Nemo. And they're all swimming around. Back at home that evening, Nemo told Marlon about the party. Marlon looked at him a little worried for a moment, then he reminded himself how clever Nemo was. He smiled at his son. That's a big project, he said. But if you put your mind to it, I'm sure you can do it. I can, Dad, Nemo said confident. So it's the pie party is going to be the best ever just to wait and see. See Nemo and his dad tomorrow. The next day Nemo and his friends were swimming around the sponge bed with their musical instruments when they bumped into Dory. Hi Nemo, his kid Dory explained. She had trouble remembering anything, especially Nemo's name. What are you up to? Um, Nemo stammered. Music class, homework, Tad piped up. Well, have fun, said Dory, swimming off in the other direction. Her friends and smiled at each other and began to practice. At first, they didn't sound very good. But after a while, they began to hit their groove. After school the next afternoon, Nemo and his friends talked about what to invite to the party. What about Crush and Squirt? Sheldon suggested to see each other. Sure to know how to have a good time. Everyone from the school, including Mr. Ray, to Tad, and I'll invite Bruce, Anchor, and Chum. Nemo said they may be sharks, but they're friends of Dory. Let's give him a job so they stay out of trouble, said Pearl. Like stir the punch. Okay, I think we're all set, Tad Pearl showed and Nemo swam off and light the cat. See them all swimming. Finally, it was the day after the party. His friends woke up early and started decker. Pearl talked about salvers and making a pretty pattern on a large piece of pork. Tad and Sheldon strung seaweed streamers, and Nemo suggested a practicing happy birthday. Just as they finished the last line, they heard another voice join in. It was Dory. I remember Dory in the movie. Finally, Nemo. I love singing, she explained. How did you know? It was my birthday. You told me, said Nemo. Really? And I asked. Dory, I don't remember that. Said Dory. Now that's a surprise is ruined, said Nemo. What? Dory said, it's gonna ruin your surprise. Just me who did it. I'll fix things. You mean you've forgotten already, asked Nemo. Forgotten what? Dory replied. Nothing, said Nemo, cracking his mouth. It sure was helpful. That Dory's memory wasn't very good. See you later, said Dory, swimming away. Who was that? Birthday fish, anyway? She muttered to herself. I think it was someone really nice. Someone I really liked. Another close call to Nemo to his friends, but I think we're all set. Why don't we go home and get ready? I'll meet you guys back here with Dory. Nemo, I don't know if I can come to the party. So, my dad wants me to watch the baby. Bring them along, said Nemo. That's more than Mary. See them all getting together, trying to figure out what to do. The hours later, the guests arrived. They all hid and waited to surprise Dory. When Dory and Nemo came and everyone popped out, and they were hiding places and shouts, surprise! Laura Caputo, it's a party for you, Dory replied. No, Dory, it's for you, Nemo said. It's your birthday. Is it? 
it is, they have to go, oh yeah, cool, a party for me. The guests cheer, door is loud and blast. Nima let everyone sing and happy birthday. Dora joined in and sang the loudest. You're the best friend that fish could have. Said Dora, later, she smiled a little tomorrow and then. I'm sure I'm glad your dad and I found you, Nemo. This is the best birthday I ever had. Hey, Dora, said Nemo, you remember my name. What's that, what's that, said Dora. Oh, nothing, Nemo, said with a sigh. Let's get some food. Let's get gross hormones nearby. Look at this. Salty seawater punch, explained Dora. My favorite, allow me to pour you some. Bruce. The great white shark is the class, Dory. A giant toothy bear. Why, thank you, Stare replied, Dory. Happy birthday, Dory, said Chum. You have a lot of food. I mean, friends here today. Fish are friends, not food. Ink reminded the other two sharks. That's right, guys. Dory, don't forget. Hey, how about all we get some birthday cake? The minute the sharks left, the other sea creature swam over to get some punch. Right after them, Nemo and his friends played their first song, which got everyone dancing. Even Marlon swayed a little to the melody. Later, Crush and his son Squirter swirled around to the music until they were dizzy, so they had to take a break. Crush saw Marlon swim over to say hello. Hey, good to see you. That son of yours is awesome, dude. This is a supper party, and I've been quite too appeased. Dory couldn't remember any dance moves, so she just made them up. Remember the, the turtles in the movie? Tips up, dudes. The sharks even shook a fan or two. Then Mr. Ray let everyone in a line dance. Nemo said the band took a break to join in. They went had a lot of fun, but after a few hours, it was time to go home. Nemo thanked Pearl Tad and Sheldon for such a relief. I couldn't have done it without you guys, he said. Boy, said Dory, is that birthday fish is lucky. I have so many good friends. That lucky fish is you, Dory, Nemo reminded her. All right. Nemo Diamond Dory replied. My memory is just isn't very good. I think it's getting worse as I get older. Or is it getting better? I can't remember. Anyway, let me thank you before I forget. This is the best birthday I ever had. Then Dory swam on her way. See, Dory. Dory and Nemo and the whole Marlin, the whole gang. Cool. You did a great job with Dory's surprise birthday party, Marlon said, told Nemo. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad, said Nemo. I was thinking we should start planning my birthday party. It's only nine months away. Have you worked on the guest list yet? Marlon smiled. Who we have is seaweed cake. It's the best kind. What do you think, Dad, said Nemo? Asked Nemo. Son, said Marlon, if you're planning it, I'm sure your birthday party will be the best one as well. Be. Now, kids, I want to remind you and your parents and those with parents, remember to be close to family you're going somewhere. Don't ever, always ever go alone. If you get lost, stay in one place, contact the nearest person. So usually someone with at their desk, somebody at the, you know, knows, knows people. Well, I know it's hard not talking to strangers, but don't be afraid to call somebody like a police officer or someone standing there who's got security. They always genuinely lead you in the right direction. They'll call your parents, hey, my son's over here. Get you squared away. Be nerve wracking. Watch out for pedophiles, perverts. Parents can look that, look that stuff up online. Be rather be aware of the new scam out there where some perverts think it's cute hiding their pedophile chip, microchip, micro stuff, and other people. And others leak. Not a good idea. I think some police officers are well aware what a certain individual looks like. Check that out. You can look it up online. Make sure people know exactly who's what and who's whom. Keep your people safe. Keep your folks safe. Keep your neighbors safe. Got one neighbor looking out for many of you all over the world. Just know who you're living next to. Um, stick 
close to your sisters, your brothers. Yes, they are. Remember, you're not so alone in the world. I hope this brings you a sense of cover, a sense of love. Just don't forget to say your prayers tonight. Honor to you. Let's go.